We're here for the second YAI Northeast Regatta 2024 at the Umyam Water Sports Complex. The event is being organized by the Umyam Sailing Club and features sailors from across the country representing their respective teams. Now we have a lot of action lined up for this final day of the event where in, there is a lot of competition between Hyderabad and who are the clear favorites to win along with many other states that will be participating for this event. So let's sit back and enjoy the action. The second YAI Northeast Regatta 2024 witnessed enthusiastic participation in the Optimist category by sailors from across the country at Umyam Lake, Meghalaya. Organized by Umyam Sailing Club under the aegis of the Yachting Association of India and supported by the Department of Sport and Youth Affairs, Government of Meghalaya, the event witnessed the participation of 130 sailors from 17 clubs, a significant increase from the last edition which featured 76 sailors representing 12 different clubs. The primary objective of the first of its kind regatta in the northeast is to promote and popularize the sport in the region and produce sailors to compete at the national level. Interestingly, Unlike in 2023, which featured an unranked competition, this year, the Northeast Regatta was recognized as a national junior ranking event, providing a solid platform for young sailors to climb up the ladder in the sport. The Optimist is the smallest class of 2.31 meters in length, approved by World Sailing, International Sailing Federation, and is raced by junior sailors. The Optimist has a box-shaped hull, single sail and a spirit rigged sail that makes it stable in strong winds and easy to manoeuvre. The boat can also be rigged quickly, taking as little as 15 minutes. From this class, young sailors begin moving up to other classes such as Ilka, 420 and 29er before advancing even further.
Uh, Umiyam is a wonderful venue, uh, perfect for sailing. Uh, especially in the summer months when it's uh, too hot to sail uh, the rest of the country. It could be used as a perfect venue for training uh, national level uh, players as well. The weather's wonderful. You do get uh, uh, bands of uh, very steady, strong wind in the summer months, so uh, you know that also makes it ideal for sailing. Uh, I also come from a lake, so yes, the lake and uh, ocean sailing is different, but uh, however, a lot of uh, specific uh, stuff can be practiced on the lake uh, under proper supervision. As I said, I've conducted uh, some uh, learn to sail camps here. One of the main uh, you know, drawbacks is people get afraid of water. Whereas here I find that a lot of them are coming from the kayaking, canoeing, fishing background. So they're not scared of water. So I think that itself is a big uh, you know, advantage in these parts. And uh, already the government has purchased boats and stuff. They have the facilities to run this uh, program. Two, three years back, not much of sailing was done on this lake. Now, as you see, this is the third event and uh, plenty of sailing is done. It's been uh, proven that its uh, you know, uh, model is successful. So it's just about making a plan and I'm sure uh, you know, your uh, association and uh, Kanla Lok and all will definitely make a plan to grow the sport for the youngsters. Of course, the tournaments have been successful. Now I hope to see the local uh, people also take part in the nationals next time. Uh, it's just a matter of uh, you know practice and uh, you know trade with with the you know, proper uh, coaches and trainers and I'm sure in the few next few years you will see that uh, thing. A lot of interest is there already. The volunteers and all have been seeing and this is the second third time they've come. So it's a matter of getting them into the sport and I'm sure in the future you can do it. It's a wonderful venue. We're very happy to be sailing here. The Optimist has a pram hull originally formed primarily from five pieces of plywood. Just in front of a bulkhead, which partitions the boat nearly in half, is the daggerboard case. Right behind it on the center line of the hull floor are attached a block and a ratchet block. These anchor the sheet and a block on the boom directly above. At the bow is a thwart to support the mast which passes through a hole in its center to the mast step mounted on the center line of the boat. In regatta sailing, leeward means moving against the wind, while windward translates to sailing in the direction of the wind. Interestingly, regatta sailing is typically competed in the ocean. However, like Hyderabad's Hussein Sagar Lake, which has produced many young international sailors from the country, the second YAI Northeast Regatta 2024 was also held in Umyam Lake instead of in an ocean or sea.
to welcome to our program, Thanks. Mr. Chita. Uh, for how long have you been sailing now? I have been sailing for five years. For five years already? Yes. Okay, and how did you start? How did you get into this sport? Uh, some teachers came to our school and they introduced that uh, this is sailing, it is a water sport. And, it, I, and I have interested to go in that game. And I have participated in nationals like Mumbai, Mysore, Shillong. In that I have got gold, silver, bronze. And I went to na internationals, Korea. My sir had helped me more to do training and studies. And in club uh, we have nutritionist and uh, my sir is helping so much. My mother is also supporting, supporting me. It is not easy to do sailing. It is not easy to, to win in this nationals. But I tried so much. Now I am in girls, India number one. Overall second. Number one in, in, in girls. In okay, yes. all right. And overall second. Yes. Next regatta we have in Mysore. In that, uh, in that I, uh, I want to win gold medal in overall and in girls. Do, we don't have in uh, optimist uh, Olympics. In, when we go another boat, I want to go in Olympics and I want to win. That's your dream. And I think that dream will come true. Yes. Welcome to our program, Ram. Thank you. This is your first visit to India, right? Yep, it's my first visit. Okay, and uh, have you competed in a lot of comp um, other events in the past? Yeah, I competed in a lot of events. I've been currently sailing for four years now. You've been sailing for four years? Yep. Okay, and uh, the, the association back in Thailand, uh, you've got your own personal coaches, or how, how does that work? What's the... So, yeah, I use coaches with other people too. With other people too? Yeah, I wish I coach. Yeah. How's the experience been so far? So the experience is pretty nice. Sometimes the winds are unpredictable. Sometimes the winds is good. Sometimes the wind is bad. Like, I mean, it's quite challenging. Quite challenging. Yeah. Compared to other events that you've taken part in, or mm. what would you say is the most has been the toughest for you, at least, or you know, in the in last uh, couple of years? So yeah. So there's some competitions that have been tough for me. But this one is also quite a tough one too. It's not very much different from each one. The conditions are ideal for sailing? The conditions are pretty much unpredictable. It's really difficult to sail in since there's sometimes a little to no wind, sometimes there's insane winds. It does, that comes out of nowhere. It's pretty difficult. The sun came out of day We're born again There's a new grass on the field Around a third and I'm headed for home It's a brown out here It's a man Anyone can understand The way I feel All right, I put me in cold Watching it from the bench You know I took some lumps But mighty gave the struck out So say, hey Willie, Tyler Cole And showed him my G.O. Don't you say it ain't so You know the time is now
glove and a homemade bag and a brand new pair of shoes. You know I think it's time to give this game a ride. Just to hit the ball and touch the ball, a moment in a sign. It's a gone and you can tell that one goodbye.
That's all the action we have from the second YAI North East Regatta 2024 being conducted here in Umiam by the Umiam Sailing Club. We hope you enjoyed the action. We will be bringing more in the next episode. Until then, thank you for watching.